Now let's talk about the Bills and what I think that they got to do on Thursday to separate themselves from the LA Rams and do their best to try and, and separate on the scoreboard as well. Matt Stafford had a great year last year for the LA Rams, no debate. And I think he gets a lot more credit than most would have just because he comes from Detroit where everybody knew he was a great quarterback, but it just never truly rang home with many people because of how bad the Detroit Lions themselves were. I mean, you knew how good Matt Stafford was, but did anybody really care? The Detroit Lions weren't going to do anything. The Detroit Lions were never going to make the playoffs. They were never going to threaten the division. So who cares what Matt Stafford's doing? And he goes in last season. He provides Cooper Cup an historic year. And he ultimately gets the Rams all the way to the Super Bowl. And he wins it. But Matt Stafford also struggled more last year than I think people talk about. He threw more interceptions last year than any other quarterback. And I think when you look at these weapons that the LA Rams have you might be a little taken back as far as how is this secondary without Tredavious White going to be able to match up with a guy like Cooper Cup who put up nearly 2,000 yards last year what did he have 16 touchdowns a historic year and you look at it and you say well we don't have Tredavious White Dane Jackson's going to be out there We do have Teron Johnson, who I think is one of the best slot defenders there is. You're still talking about a guy in Cooper Cup who's ultimately one of the best. And then you have added weapons for the LA Rams, I think kind of puts them over the top a bit. You got Brandon Marshall, who they just added. You have Van Jefferson. You have Tyler Higby. They're loaded. They're loaded. But the one thing I think that the Bills can do to separate themselves in this one is take advantage of Matt Stafford's inability to play a perfect game. He is definitely mistake prone. As good as he is, he's sort of like Brett Favre in the way that he's a gunslinger, where he just kind of lets it ride, throws it deep. He's got a cannon. And as we know with Brett Favre, that oftentimes resulted in turnovers. And the Bills had the best overall pass defense in the league last year. And I said this multiple times throughout the offseason and last year. That was without Tredavious White. I think going into a game like this where they do have a wide receiver core like the Rams do, you do really, really, truly wish you had Tredavious White. But when you look at it, I went and looked. Dane Jackson only allowed 50% of the balls thrown his way to be completed. We've seen what Teron Johnson can do in the slot. That's probably where Cooper Cup's going to be seen the most. And then Van Jefferson, who runs deep routes more so than any other wide receiver on that team, he's going to have to deal with probably the best safety core in the entire league in Poyer and High. So I look at that, and I look at the Bill. I look at the Bills defense, their current setup against this LA Rams team, who I think is probably the most stacked in the NFC as far as the pass game is concerned, if not right up there. It might look like, well, you're missing Tredavious White. Do the Rams have the edge? Well, I'd say you factor in the fact that Matt Stafford threw more picks than anybody last year. You factor in the fact that despite not having Tredavious White last year, the Bills were still number one in nearly every category throwing the ball. And then you topple onto that, the upgraded Bills D line. The Bills were able to have the best pass defense in the league last year without a defensive line that they have this year. I think compared to previous years, last year's Bills D line was better than we expected. But this year, you guys know as well as I, the expectations are just incredible on this Bills defensive line. And for good reason. I mean, look at the additions. And then you can also add a little bit of spice into the fact that Ben that that Von Miller is playing against his former team in his former house on the night that they're raising the banner that he was a part of winning. You can't tell me that's not going to fuel him up a little bit as far as giving him an extra edge. So I think when you really do get down to it, it is a very even matchup. Bills defense, Rams offense. But I'd say if you can force Matt Stafford to get into that 
tendency that he has of turning the ball over, and you can capitalize on that. I think that that could be a huge difference. Yes, the Rams wide receiver core is exceptional. And yes, Matt Stafford, he is one of the best. But when you look at what the Bills have as far as being able to cover this, and you look at what the tendencies are for Matt Stafford, especially when you're playing against as good of a defense as the Bills have, I think you might want to favor it a bit more towards the Bills side. And I think that that's probably something you won't hear when talking about this Bills defense going up against this Rams pass game.